Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show. Today we're going to be discussing my top five watches under $50. So let's roll the intro and get on with the show. Now the two most frequently asked questions I get on my channel is number one, what watches do I recommend under $100? I've already done a video, I'll leave a link in the description for that one. Of course if you have your own suggestions, please do share in the comments below. And the second most frequently asked question is what watches do I recommend under $50? A lot of people want to start their collection or maybe add something fun, vibrant, a weekend away watch. Uh, and they don't want to spend too much and you can get a lot of amazing cracking good watches for f only $50 and today I thought I'd share with you my five my top five recommendations of course this is only in my opinion if you have your favorites please do add them down below in the comments okay so at number five has to be the Casio MDV 1061A5 diver and this is a very classic looking diver with a with a dive time bezel that rotates uh, unidirectional. It has that classic diver aesthetic, the, the look, but it has a very clean dial, 200 meters water resistance. It's a quartz piece, but it's robust. It's affordable, only coming in at $38. Uh, it's quite a tastefully done piece. The styling's obviously going to look like, you know, your classic Submariner style diver, but at the same time, it has has its own little quirky characteristics that really kind of set it apart. The only negatives is the loom is not that great, but you know, at $38, can you really uh, ask for more? Stainless steel case. Uh, it is a bit large on the 44 millimeter size, too large for me, otherwise I'd definitely buy one, but I have quite a few friends who have these. They changed out the rubber band and put it on a NATO, absolutely looks gorgeous, and ironically kind of looks a lot more uh, expensive than it really is. A fantastic little affordable diver. Perfect if you're not really into dive watches but maybe you're going to the beach on the weekend you want something affordable just to just to wear on the beach that you don't mind uh, mucking up as a, as a kind of beta watch. This is a really great place to start and you can get these very cheaply on Amazon uh, for only 38 bucks. And number four we have vintage Timexes. Now I was brought to the attention of these by my good friend Abdiel and he's sent in some pictures of his Timexes. He picked up a lot of these uh, used on eBay for about 20, 30 bucks, absolute bargains. These are mid-century pieces so they're in the more smaller size but the styling is just classic, it's just tasteful, they're always gonna look good. He actually changed them out, put them on a NATO, dressed them up a little bit, really really brought them to life. My favorite has got to be his 1960s Marlin Demonstrator. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, again, with that mid-century styling. More elegant age, you know, but so affordable. Cannot be beat. I think there's a real sweet spot here in vintage Timexes. This, and a lot of them are actually made in Germany and in America. This is before they got outsourced. So the quality, these things were built to last. The quality really is there and cannot be beat for 20 to $30. And now of course, I haven't got one particular model in mind. You have to go on eBay, search for yourself. Uh, you have to do a little bit of research. But the deals on these classic watches are out there. You just have to look. These kind of designs, these classic designs are timeless. They're gonna look good for generations to come. If you don't wanna go vintage, you wanna buy something brand new, you can get uh, what's called the Timex Expedition. Very affordable, I think they're about 40 bucks on Amazon, brand new. They come in a variety of colors. Uh, just traditional field watches, quartz built to last, perfect for a weekend away. Okay, my number three is the first kind of Swiss entry uh, on the list, and it is, of course, 
the Swatch watch. Now there's amazing amount of variety, different colors, different designs, really vibrant, uh, lively combinations, all different kind of color straps, all different kind of dials, some art themed like the Max Bill one, there's a beautiful Max Bill one, uh, around about the $50 mark. But these are great because yeah, they're mass-produced Swiss watches, but Swatch, they've really kind of innovated, uh, especially now with the new uh, System 51, which I'm going to be reviewing very soon, the first 51-piece uh, mechanical uh, mass-produced watch. Really huge technical achievement. But these quartz, uh, more affordable versions, are really fun. A great way to add a bit of flair, variety. They're nice and thin. They wear, they come in a variety of sizes. You get some of them have the day-day complication. My particular favourite is the GB743. Very tastefully done. Classic, almost kind of Bauhaus in style and aesthetic. Very kind of minimalist, uh, but gorgeous, timeless. And the great thing is, you can buy a whole load of these and mix and match with your outfit. The first person that comes to mind who really does this well is Sir Richard Rogers, the iconic, famous British Italian architect. Uh, the world-renowned architect. He really does this so well. He'll wear different colored jackets, like bright colors, and then he'll match it to his Swatch watch. He's really a, a style icon for me. I love Swatch. I grew up in the 90s, so I had countless Swatches. Uh, I know a lot of people who do. They're very affordable and a great way to add a bit of flair, a bit of variety, a bit of pizzazz to your collection. Okay, next at number two, it's not, again, not any particular watch, but you can find amazing vintage Seikos for under $50 on eBay. Just have a look. You can get them from all around the world. But be prepared. Some of them are going to be a little beaten up and worn, but there are so many great Seikos from the 70s and the 80s that you can get for under $50 used on eBay. The thing about Seikos is that these things were built to last. They have very robust, reliable automatic movements. A lot of them can go for a whole lifetime without servicing, which means on the used market, they've still got a hell of a lot of life still left in them. So you can pick one up used, wear it for 10 years. Maybe it might need a little clean up or service. It's very cheap to do. There are some great retro vintage pieces out there. You just have to look. Be patient, look at the eBay, be prepared to search overseas, uh, and you can pick up some absolute bargains. Okay, so what is my number one watch under $50? And ironically, it's the cheapest, and you're probably wondering why I didn't do my wristwatch check at the beginning of the video, and that's because I'm actually wearing it. This is the Casio F91W. I did a whole video on it. It is a classic, iconic Casio. You can get these for under ten dollars, so dirt cheap. But as you see, I've put mine on a camouflage NATO. Uh, very easy to do. I did a whole video about this watch. It's a true icon. You know, the fact you can get an iconic watch for less than ten dollars just shows how wonderful this hobby of ours is. It's quite a notorious watch. Uh, it has a bit of a dark, murky side to its history. But check out my video I did about this watch. I'll leave also a link to that video in the description. Now beware, there are fake ones about, and I know it sounds ridiculous, <laughs> fake, fake $10 watch, but there are fake Casios about, and you have to be careful because they are quite easy to fake. Buy it from a reputable source. It, it's a classic, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a classic from the 90s. For me, it brings back a lot of nostalgia of my childhood. It has a great little chronograph in it, day, the date. It really can't be beat for its price. And I think for ten dollars, why not? Why not? And uh, I absolutely adore mine. It's so light, so small. Uh, of course, you can get the metal version. There's a stainless steel version. There's even the gold tone versions. Uh, I forget the reference numbers, but you can find them all on Amazon. Very, very affordable. There's so many great, fun Casios under fifty dollars. You know, you, you can get the calculator watch as well. That's another one. Uh, there's also the version that was on Breaking Bad, you know, this, they, they are icons, they are classic watches. And you can't really dismiss them just because they don't cost thousands of dollars. Unbeatable. And that's why it's my favourite and I can't recommend it enough. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'd really like to hear what your favourite watches 
are under $50, please share them down below in the comments. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. It really does help me. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, guys. Ciao.